This problem asks us to use partial fractions to find the inverse Laplace transform of this given function f of s, which is 1 over s quantity s plus 2. So let's recall for partial fractions, I want to split this up based on the factors of the denominator. So here I've got two factors, s and s plus 2. So let's say that I want to write f of s as a sum of two fractions, one that's some constant over s and one that is another constant, or maybe the same one, over s plus 2. So here a and b represent any real numbers, but I can set this equal to the given value for f of s. And then I can find a common denominator for these fractions and then uh, try to solve for a and b. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I'm going to cross multiply. So I've got a times s plus 2 plus b times s. That gives me the common denominator, denominator s quantity s plus 2. And now I can go ahead and cancel the denominator on both sides and move up here. And say that 1 equals a quantity s plus 2 plus bs. Go ahead and distribute the a. And I essentially have two terms here, one with s and one with just a constant. And now I can match up with the other side. Well, on the left side of the equation, I don't actually have a term with s, so I know a plus b have to, has to equal 0. And 2a has to equal 1. That makes a 1 half. and b negative one half. So I can go and plug that in over here and I have one half over s minus one half over s plus two. And I'm going to pull out that one half just so this is a little easier to work with. And now I need to recall some Laplace transforms. Well, one of the basic ones is the Laplace transform of 1. It's just 1 over s. So I know when I take the inverse Laplace transform here, that 1 over s is going to become a 1. And the other one we're going to need here is the Laplace transform of e to the at. Which is 1 over s minus a for a sufficiently large s, so the denominator is not 0. So here I have s plus 2. That makes a negative 2. Which gives me e to the negative 2t when I take the inverse Laplace transform. So f of t equals 1 half quantity 1 minus e to the negative 2t.